Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching me today. Okay, today I want to talk about the global chaos that's going on. People are feeling confused. They're feeling frustrated. They're feeling lost, like they've got no direction or goals. What the hell is going on here? And I'll tell you what it's all about. It's about chaos. How we ourselves are creating the chaos through trying to control things out of our control. Whoa! Trying to control things out of our control. I'm hearing every day about people who are getting kicked out of their houses, that can't afford their rent, they've lost their job, they can't find a job, they've just lost a relative, they've got all this, they can't afford their bills, they can't buy food. All this is now global, guys. I am getting inundated with emails every day. Please help me. How can I help anybody? Seriously. What can I offer except words that will give us all a hope to get out of this global chaos? Okay, so to understand what's going on, We've got to understand what we are doing personally that's inflicting ourselves with this global chaos, okay? First one is control. The more we control things, trying to control things, I should say, out of our control, the more we're getting stressed and anxiety hits and then we're getting sick. So when we control something, it's our ego. Our ego, which is our thoughts. So how do we turn off this thought system in our head and finally tell it to shut up, let me just go along as it is? Because our thoughts are what are creating the chaos. Okay, so in my books, I have a lot of different ways to deal with our thoughts because it's our thoughts where we create what we manifest. Okay, the more we think about anything, the more we're contributing to that becoming a reality in our conscious awareness, which is our reality. Okay, so we must remember here the big thing. Control is from our own thoughts. How do you turn that one off? Stop thinking is a great one to say, okay? As soon as we say, you know what? I'm not going to control a situation anymore. I am getting inundated with emails. Can you tell me about my son? Can you tell me how to look after my daughter? Can you please help my niece, nephew? I will never do a reading for people who don't give me consent and contact me. Okay, so there's a hint. But I'm getting there, so please keep watching in the biggest way to stop this chaos. Okay? But first of all, the big one is we must identify our ego, which is our thoughts... It sabotages us every day. Self-sabotaging techniques is when we try and then try and then try again, doing something, hitting our head against the wall, expecting other different um, reactions to occur, where we're trying over and over, but we fail dismally. So all that happens out of that is we lose our self-worth. We lose our self-value, um, which is our self-respect, and then we start hating ourselves. Yuck. Don't do that. Because I speak about self-love, okay? In my books, I talk about how to obtain self-love. Because the first thing, when we want to stop this chaos that's going on around us, we must sit there and work out are we actually mirroring, because <laughs> generally we are, 
we are mirroring what's going on in our society. If there's food shortages and you're saying, oh my God, there's no food, you are repeating or mirroring what is occurring. But if you look in your cupboard and, you know, you may only have a slice of bread there. But if you can look at that slice of bread and you say, oh my God, I'm so abundant. I have so much. Or even I have enough food to get me through today. Then you are beating that chaos that's existing, that emotional energy out there with all these people being absorbed into it. There's no food, there's no food. Ah! So stop it. Stop thinking about what's going on for other people, okay? Take your ego out of the equation. Now, how do we take our ego out of the equation is to stop thinking. Stop all those midnight thoughts, okay? Oh my God, tomorrow I've got to wash the floors. I've got to do the ironing. I've got to drive the kids to soccer. I've got to do that. I've got to do that. Stop all those thoughts. So whenever you start thinking, you just go, ah, no way. C-A-L-M. C-A-L-M. Shush. Hush. Ah, ah. Don't think. Then a thought comes and says, no. Nah. Don't do it. But then another thought, no, 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 no more thoughts. Shush the farm. Hush. Because then when we obtain how not to think, that then is when we can start being aware. How do we obtain awareness is by being aware that time does not exist. There is no past. Everything in our past is only memories. We don't even have a future because that's just our imagination, right? There's no past and no present. We are only present right now in this moment. So this is where we are aware of everything around us. This is step two. And now don't, I know I just told you, stop thinking. But now you're just being aware. I'm aware of the traffic noises. I'm aware of that bird. I'm aware that there's a guy down the road mowing his yard. I'm aware there's a tick, 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 tick of a clock somewhere. I'm aware of the wind hitting the breeze or the breeze hitting the, the trees in my front yard. So we listen to all these little external noises and we're present in the now. So if we're present in the now, how can we how can we be involved with that chaos that's external to us that's saying there's no food, there's no ash, fuel prices, gas prices, electricity prices. Take all those thoughts away and be present in the now. Because stage three is now surrendering. So stage one was a, a finding your ego, turning it off. So that's stage one. Yeah, we've all got an ego. Stop those thoughts is number one. Stop your ego. Number two is being aware now, in the present now. I'm a little bit hungry now. Okay, I'll go and eat later. But right now, that's just a thought and I want you just to stop the thinking. So stop your thinking, number one. Number two, be present with now. Just observe what's going on. Observe what's going on. <clears throat> be separate to it. Because once we're separate to it, then we can do stage three. Stage three is to surrender. Go and look at yourself in the mirror and you say these words. I allow my higher good to make everything work out for me. I now surrender 
my ego, which are our thoughts. I now surrender my ego and I allow everything to work out for me. I have no judgment and no accusation about how I'm going to get food, how I'm going to get a job, how I'm going to pay the bills next week. I simply allow the universe to do their work on my behalf because I'm now surrendering to let them do what they want for me. Surrender. How do we surrender the past? Because that's a big one. Surrendering our past is when we say everything happened for a reason. I simply don't care what other people did to me. I simply no longer care about all those emotions of trauma for they cannot hurt me today in the present awareness that I am creating. What happened yesterday is has no longer got power to control me today. And then when we look at our future, I simply do not care what is happening for me next week. For I know and I trust that the universe always looks after me. I surrender my past and my future. And I'm now aware in the universal energy of the present. Being aware in the present is when we turn into psychics. We start having awareness. We start having premonitions because time no longer exists in the present. So future and past events are all simultaneously happening concurrently now. But there's no emotional attachment to it because we have released our ego so then our pure soul can just observe what occurs without being affected by it. Does that make sense for you? Go watch it again if it didn't. Because this is how we surrender so the chaos of the planet doesn't affect us. Let them do what they want. For we all have free will. Only look at who you are and allow the universe, your higher self, your angels, your guardian angels, spirit guides, whoever, your loved ones that have passed over, allow them to look after you because they always do. Hope you like this video today. Talk soon. Bye.